Okay, so this time I'm going to show you how to the card that we're making. Now, obviously, you can do any card that you like, but the idea was that you can take one of the bigger shapes, so the heart or say uh, the big cross, and you can cut that out of the card. Okay, so just the same way as we cut out the other ones, you can cut out the shape or you could cut out the heart. Now, there are, you can make it very simple and you can just put a bit of coloured paper behind this. So this is a wedding invitation envelope. You could literally just stick this on the back and you have a very plain, simple, but quick card if you wanted to do an Easter card or if you wanted to do a heart or a birthday card. Uh, but the other thing that you can do is you can use the shapes that we've, the bits of paper that I sent that are plain bits of paper. So you should have got two bits of paper like this, yeah? Uh, and that's what these are for. So you could use them just as they are, but the idea was that you can find scraps of paper. So you can see I've just got scraps of paper. And the idea is to have a striped backing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the outline onto this bit of paper so that I know what shape I need to fill in. Uh, just try not to get too much on your outer blue. Now I know that this is the shape that I need to fill in. Okay. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to take strips and I'm going to put them along here. Now you can decide how wide your strips need to, you want them to be. I want mine to be relatively thin so I'm going to cut several at a time but they don't need to be perfect. So of course most of these bits actually only need to be this size. We just need some going across the middle. So all you need to do then is get your glue now you can also use bits of wool or bits of lace or ribbon if you've got those available but not everyone will have that lying around. So I'm just going to put glue all over the shape. Okay. And then I'm just going to start putting in my coloured bits of paper. Just think about maybe the start and the stop so that you have a colour that shows up well against the blue. Uh, you can just tear off the extra she says. Okay, maybe not tear it off, maybe cut it off and you can then stick your coloured shapes. You want them to go a little bit further than the actual shape that's needed, which is why I'm going to move that up a little bit because the cutout will provide the neat edges that you need. So, You can leave bits of white in between if you want to. It's completely up to you. And then I'm going to put a bit of the pink in there. Okay. A tiny bit of white showing there. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to put my blue. And you can see that's at an angle. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just aiming to provide a coloured background. Overlap them if the edges aren't completely flat. Straight, I mean, they'll be flat, but they might not be straight. Uh, it's a bit like doing patchwork, what we call quilt-as-you-go sewing. So I've actually repeated my colours in the same order, but you don't have to do that. It's really just happened to have turned out that way. There we go. Now, am I going to repeat again? Yes, I'm going to repeat again. So I'm going to put my blue, my red. Now you can, of course, just get a white bit of paper and draw something. So you might want to draw a pattern on your heart or on your cross uh, and draw it on the bit of paper, draw the outline and then colour it in in some way, that's another way to do it. And Or you can do this approach which is uh, using the scraps of paper. And of course I'm going to have a gap at the bottom aren't I? That, uh, I'm not quite 100%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this orange 
this orange. You did get provided with one of these sheets in the back of the ticket books. And well, there we go. So now what you need to do is just to cut off some of the excess, so I'm going to cut down here, Oops. cut it reasonably neatly because it is going to show on the inside of the card, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to cut a little bit extra off there because I know that it doesn't quite fit otherwise. And the simplest thing is to put the glue onto the card because then it will be in the right place. Uh, do be careful because it's going to go onto whatever surface you're working on and you don't then want to be glued to the surface especially when you put your cross into it so I would actually wipe up the glue before you do that there we go so I'm actually going to take a scrap of paper and put that down so that I don't accidentally glue and now I need to make sure I get this the right way around. So that's going to be like that. And you obviously need to line it up. And it doesn't quite fit. It needs to go a bit smaller. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. It. Open it out flat. There we go. And I can trim it off afterwards. And there you have it. A colourful cross or heart or star, whatever shape you happen to choose. Uh, if you turn it over to the inside, you'll see mine's extending a little bit past the fold. All I'm going to do is to cut off that extra. Now, if you want to then put a neat bit of paper over this so that it looks a bit neater, you're very welcome to. Um, I did provide two bits of paper, so one option is you could stick a bit like that to cover it over so that it's white or you if you've got some other paper at home you can use that. I've got an old calendar and that provides a very nice way of decorating the inside. There we go. There. Do let it dry. Can you see I've got glue here? What you don't want is your glue sticking onto that side. So you need to keep it open while it dries or you will end up with it stuck closed. So keep it open like that for the next five, ten minutes till it dries. And there you have your colourful picture. <laughs>